Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Hope you had a fantastic Wednesday. I appreciate all your comments yesterday and those of you who shared pictures of your progress. Thank you. It helps me to see your progress. It also helps you guys to see that progress that you're making in your home by decluttering a little at a time. I know that you're looking at the big picture a lot and you keep seeing areas that you want to make better. But I want you to know that even the small progresses are worth celebrating. Every week when I talk to my clients with Fly Lady Premium, some of them kind of dread that conversation because they've not done everything on their goal sheets. But what they find is that we spend about 10 minutes of our conversation looking for those things they did accomplish. And that gives them a boost. And then we talk about the things that they've been struggling with, try to come up with ideas to help them get it done. So the one-on-one -on -one mentoring that I do with them helps them even though sometimes they kind of dread giving me a status report because they don't feel like they've done very much. And that's why I'm very sensitive to the fact that you guys need to give yourself credit for those small progresses. For doing your morning routine, getting dressed to the shoes, having a shiny sink, doing your zone missions. This week our zone missions have been in our master bedroom because I want you to have peace and joy when you go into your master bedroom. So today we're going to work on the nightstand. That flat surface right beside our bed has a tendency to catch clutter. We throw things on there, we pile things on there, and then before you know it, there's just a lot of stuff there. I used to keep books stacked there, and I quit doing that because it helps keep me more relaxed and peaceful to just have the bare minimum on my nightstand. Good morning, Tammy and Mary. Thanks for joining me today. So basically on my nightstand, I have a lamp. I have a little saying, it's a Bible verse have a small arrangement of silk flowers. I keep my chapstick and I keep my lavender oil there. And at night I plug my phone up and lay it there. So it helps me to not have a lot of clutter there. So if I wake up during the night or in the morning, there's not a whole lot of stuff there to look at. Good morning, Susan. She says it's the one room she cannot get under control and it's not peaceful at all. And good morning, Lori. Susan, just keep doing small decluttering sessions and don't let yourself keep piling in there. And if it's your family piling in there, find another place for them to put things. Good morning, Crystal. Glad you made it to the live session this morning. Um, I talked to a lady a couple years ago and she struggled with her master bedroom, especially the flat surfaces because she folded clothes on her bed and then she would pile her kids clothes across her dresser and then they wouldn't come get them. So every week when we talked, one of the things we talked about was the fact that she struggled with her dresser. So she had to retrain her kids. If she folded laundry in her room, she needed to tell them to come take their clothes and put them away. And she had to just stay on them till they got used to doing it in that manner. They had been trained to just let it stay there as long as possible. So you've got to change your expectations if your family is part of the reason why you have clutter in your bedroom. If your husband is a messy person, kind of ignore his side of the room for now. Take care of yours. Take care of your dresser. Take care of the table beside your side of the bed. As you keep doing this, it will rub off on him. And you can have gentle reminders and ask him, Honey, will you please take care of the stuff on your dresser? Can you find a place to put that stuff so I can dust? You know, word it in a way that doesn't make him defensive and no nagging. But if you're wanting to dust your entire bedroom, you want to have that surface ready to dust too. Good morning, Leisha. She's emptying the dishwasher. And I'm glad you're getting that done this morning. I think you guys have a game at 11 a.m. So you are got to jump on things. The other thing that I want you guys to work on today as part of your home blessings is to let go of some paper. Paper clutter holds us all down. Good morning, Lisa. Thanks for joining me. Paper clutter just accumulates and it comes in in the form of mail, it comes in with our families, it just comes into our homes. And if you homeschooled this year and you haven't gone through all your papers, you may have a lot of papers from that. You may also have papers if your kids went to school and they brought back home book bags full of papers and you've not dealt with it yet. 
So let's work on getting rid of some paper clutter today as your home blessing. Tomorrow we're taking off the trash, so at some point today I will toss paper clutter and I'll toss things out of my refrigerator that need to go. So I have a system and a routine that works really well for me. I know what I need to do each day and I don't let it all pile up till the end of the week, so Saturday I go crazy. Good morning, Allison. She said she just finished going through the paper clutter and she's gonna post a picture later. Thank you, I enjoy seeing pictures. And Lisa said that she's um, talking about paper clutter. Let me scroll back here to hers. And she said, it's more peaceful when the bedroom is clutter free. It reminds her of a resort or a hotel room. And, and that's kind of what I have in mind when I'm decluttering in my bedroom. I want that peaceful feeling I have if I check into a hotel room or if I go on an overnight stay somewhere. I want to have that peace. I want to have it clean and clear. So I work at that and I know that it's a struggle because it's a struggle for me. Things land in our bedroom. I had people here all last weekend and I tried to not use my bedroom as a place to stash and dash things. Now of course I had a lot of things laid out for the wedding and now we'll be getting ready for a vacation in the near future so I'll start a new launch pad for that. But I try not to do that in my bedroom because it makes such a cluttered mess. And if I can set a launch pad up in an area away from my bedroom, it's better. So let's see what else we have here for comments. Good morning, Deborah. And Leisha says she takes care of book bags on Fridays when she does her purse. And that's part of the Fly Ladies weekly routine is on Friday. We clean out our purse, clean out the car. And so if you've got kids, take care of their book bags on Friday. And that's generally the day they bring in the most paperwork during the school year as the teacher sends a lot of paperwork home on Friday. So deal with that when it comes into your home. And if you've struggled with it, start now and get a grip on it before school starts again. Dinner tonight, I'm gonna to be cooking from the freezer a little bit because with all the wedding preparations, I didn't really do my big grocery shopping last week. So I've been slowly using up some food in the freezer and I'm going to try stir fry and um, egg roll in a bowl, which basically means we're gonna do the egg roll filling stuff and not have it wrapped up and fried in one of the egg roll wrappers. So that's on my menu plan tonight. I'll have to let you guys know how that one goes. Good morning, Susan. She takes everything from the rest of the house and shoves it in her bedroom, folds laundry and stacks it and that's where I try to just really keep my laundry out of my bedroom, unless it's mine that I'm putting away. What I do when I fold laundry is my dryer is big because we have a big family. And so I can sort the boys things into piles. And as soon as I finish, I ask them to get their stuff and put it away if I have any of their clothes. If they're in there folding their clothes, they just take it back with their basket and put it away in their rooms. So I try not to let things build up with the laundry because that is a big clutter pile sometimes for us and just move things along. So share some pictures with me of your successes in your bedroom. On the blog this morning, I kind of gave a recap of the zone missions for the week in the master bedroom in case you didn't get them all done. Pick one or two and do them. Spend 10 to 15 minutes. I don't want you to spend hours. I don't want you emptying closets and dumping drawers. I just want you to do this in small steps. Have a trash bag ready for trash. Have a donate bag ready for donations. I've already got half a bag filled up because we moved one son out of the bedroom and moved another one into it since the wedding. So I've got a new bag of stuff to donate. And I just keep that going regularly. The boys know to bring me stuff that doesn't fit. And we just take care of our clothes that way so that they don't build up. Enjoy today. Tomorrow we'll finish up the week, finish up zone missions, finish up home blessings, set ourselves up for a family fun day on Saturday. Have a great day and if it's pretty outside, get out there and get some vitamin D. Talk to you in the morning.